Can you tell I'm in the Christmas spirit? Mm -mm -mm. Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about intangible gifts and how you can give someone a gift that will keep on giving. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. When it comes to intangible gifts, it's all about gifts that are not gonna create clutter. Because if you're like me, I cannot accept clutter into my home any longer. So with that said, the best gift to give is always an experience. An experience can come in many ways and I'll just give you guys a few experiences that you can give to your loved ones. So the first gift is a gift of traveling. Whether that traveling is going on a vacation or staying home at a staycation, I think this is a great gift for those individuals that just need to get out of the house. My fiance and I recently had a staycation here in Houston and it was literally the best thing I could have done for myself. We literally did nothing. We ate, we slept, we watched TV. So giving a traveling gift or even a staycation gift is just a gift that someone who needs it will cherish forever. I believe even more than a physical product, a physical item, a physical gift in their home. So the next intangible gift is a spa gift. If those of you love to be pampered, I think giving someone even giving yourself a spa gift is amazing because you get to go to a place and literally relax. It's a gift that's going to at least put you in the Christmas spirit and kind of just alleviate all the stress. I think this is a gift that anyone who needs to relax would love. Another gift is a day out. I love going out with friends, going out with family, and literally just hanging out and kicking it with them. I think this is a great gift because you can hang out with someone you love and let them just enjoy the day without paying for anything. I love this kind of gift, and this is a gift that I will hope to give to many, many people in my near future, actually now. I just think it's great when I can be the one who pays for everything, who takes someone anywhere they wanna go and just allow them to just enjoy the time that we have together. So another great gift that is my favorite gift on this list is a home improvement gift. Personally, I'm someone who is trying to beautify my home and having someone pay for services to have said improvement come to life would be a dream come true. This is the gift, this is the gift that I keep pushing onto Tony because I, really want places in my home to be beautified, to be improved, renovated. And this is the gift that I would personally love to receive. So giving someone a home improvement gift of service will show them that you care, that you listen. And it's also a gift that keeps on giving because every time they walk into that living room, that kitchen, whatever that space is that you pay for, they will always see it. And of course you don't have to pay for everything, but at least a portion of it or Whatever it is, you know, ask them, of course, see if they want that. This is a gift that we'll continuously give because each time they're in that room, they will be reminded of you. And I believe that's greater than any type of physical gift that you can receive. So another gift, which is another favorite, is food. <laughs> I love food. I love food. If you look at my videos in the past to now, you can see how much I love food. <laughs> because you can see it on my body. I love food. So giving a gift, whether it's a gift card to one of your loved one's favorite restaurants or whether it's you delivering food to them or having food delivered to them, I think this is a gift that will keep on giving at least for that moment because food is delicious. And if anyone does that for me, I will love them forever. So yeah, food is amazing. And I mean, food is the, what is it? What, what's the saying? It's the gift to the soul, gift to the heart. It's the way to someone's heart. I don't know. The way to someone's heart is through their belly. I don't know what it is, but I, I think this is a great gift to give to someone. So another gift kind of staying with food is a chef date. Honestly, this is another gift I would love to have a personal chef come to your home and make food for you, a friend, you and a loved one. I think this is a great gift because again, for a lot of us, we've never experienced this type of gift and this is a gift that will be remembered for a very long time. Because of course the goal will be for the chef to make a meal that they actually love. <laughs> so you gotta know what they like, but I think this is a, again, a gift that many of, many of us probably can't afford on our own. So to have someone give this 
to us in the form of a gift is a way to show them that you care and that you want them to just enjoy some time to relax. <laughs> so another gift to give to someone is anything self-care. So whether that's paying for someone to get their nails done, paying for someone to get their hair done, a facial, which is similar to a spa gift, I think this is great because again, to gift to someone time to relax is a great way to show them that you listen, that you care, that they're truly appreciated. And I think this is a gift that again, keeps on giving because I mean, who doesn't want to relax and de-stress? I do. <laughs> okay, so this is probably my favorite gift on this list. A great intangible gift is a housekeeper for a month. I know, you're welcome. I think gifting someone a housekeeper, a cleaning service for a month is just one of the best gifts to give them. To come home to a clean house for me is like a brand new car. I Every time we have our housekeepers come over and I come home to a clean house, I am always so grateful that I am able to spend this on myself. So uh, I think this may be something that I gift to my parents this year to just have my mom relax and just enjoy having skilled individuals come into their home and just clean it from top to bottom. This is a great gift for anyone and I will always recommend this, especially I will always recommend the ladies that I work with, but I will always recommend this gift to anyone who just wants a break, especially if those individuals are people with children who just don't have the time. This is a great gift and this is a gift that I'm gifting to my parents, so hopefully my mom is not watching this. And this is a gift that, again, keeps on giving. So with that said, the next intangible gift to give to someone is an organizing service gift. Y'all knew I was gonna say that. So gifting someone organizing services is a way to show them that you listen. Whether they have been complaining about how cluttered their home is or how much they wanna get organized, gifting someone this type of gift will be a gift that keeps on giving assuming that they maintain it, of course, but I think this is a great gift. And each time someone calls me to gift organizing services to their loved one, I always acknowledge that and let them know because I think this is a gift that keeps on giving. This is a gift that shows individuals, that shows your loved ones that you're listening and that you want to help them live a more clutter-free and relaxed life. I mean, it's a great gift, guys. I know. I know. It's, 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 it's true. It is. It is. So another great gift is to give someone a gift card to their favorite coffee shop. If you don't know, now you know, but I love coffee and there's a coffee shop that I'm obsessed with and to receive a gift card from there would be a dream come true. I mean, they're a little, a little bit pricey, so I do have to um, limit the amount of time that I go there. If I were to receive a gift card, at least for like a month's worth of coffee, I would be so happy. I would love it and I would always, always remember the gift that I received from someone who actually listens and wants me to enjoy my coffee. So the last intangible gift to give is a gym membership. I know some of y'all are like, why, what, no. Yes, especially now as we're approaching the new year, you wanna get, you know, body back, you wanna get healthy. I think giving a gift to someone who would be open to receiving a membership for six months to a year is great because this at least alleviates the stress of paying for a gym membership. I think this is a gift that keeps on giving because giving someone a gym membership for six months to a year where they don't have to pay and they get to go to the gym and get healthy, I think it's a great gift, personally. I mean, if someone gave me this gift, I would be very, very appreciative, especially if it's at a gym that is looked at on like a, a higher level gym or more luxury gym. That would be great. Of course, make sure you talk to them, make sure they are aware of what you're gonna give them. And if they don't want it, you can always cancel it, hopefully. <laughs> you're giving this to someone who loves to be in the gym or who wants to be, who wants to go to the gym, but maybe can't afford it. So listen, honestly, with all these gifts, listen, listen. I know we have two weeks until Christmas, but listen now. Cause they're gonna tell you, people will tell you what they want. People will tell you what they're going through. And as long as you're listening, don't let them see that you're writing it down. They're gonna appreciate these gifts more than they would 
physical gifts. Trust me, I know it's hard to imagine, but trust me, they will. They will. So, and if you're someone who, you know, you're like, but I want to give them something physical, you can always wrap up that service or that gift, that intangible gift in a physical way and give it to them. So at least you're giving them something. And of course, when they open it, they'll see what it is and then they can use it up. So I do have a Folding with Judy video showing you how to wrap gifts. So you should definitely check that out in the link below. It may not be out by today, but it'll be out this week. So you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.